Well, folks, I'm an idiot. Although, to be fair, probably not really. I'm just very self-critical. If that had happened to a friend of mine, I would have just said, oh, bad luck. But since I did it, I keep beating myself up for it. So what happened? Well, as you can see, I'm kind of messed up. <laughs> no, it was not a sword. Um, Blake, Wyatt and I did some uh, dagger practice and Wyatt and I got into some wrestling and he basically threw me over his leg and uh, his leg was right next to my knee and well it was pretty messed up um, very very painful and yeah as it is heard now fortunately it's nothing really serious I mean there's not going to be any permanent damage but I We've got quite a, a hefty inflammation of the tendon and actually the ligament. I went to the clinic next day and the doctor told me no martial arts practice for four weeks, you know, and no real significant activity whatsoever for two weeks at least. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of sitting around basically, which is very annoying because spring is, is finally starting to come up and the snow and ice on my usual testing area is probably receding right now, but yeah, I won't be able to do any blade tests anytime soon with this. Don't want to risk getting complications. And yeah, you may ask if you messed up your knee and what's with the brace on your wrist. Well, <laughs> on the way back from the clinic, uh, I had two crutches and one of them slipped right when I had all my weight on them. And yeah, I hit the ground pretty hard and uh, banged up my left arm. I pretty much landed on it. So yeah, now I have a tendon inflammation on the left wrist in addition to the inflamed ligament and swollen knee on the right. So in other words, I'm completely... <laughs> I feel like a cripple right now. No offense to anybody who actually is dealing with something permanent, but... Yeah, it's very frustrating. I can't do much at all. Okay, so I'm making this video for one because I like to keep it real and I like to tell you about things that happened, both good and bad. And also because I hope that some of you may learn from my failure. So I know pretty much exactly what happened and why. And I'm, I'm gonna show you, I actually have it recorded. I'm gonna show you the footage of exactly what happened and why. All right, so in order to show you what happened, I'm going to use uh, Sony Vegas Pro, the editing program that I normally use, simply because it allows me to scroll through it pretty easily. And, um, well, this is what happened. Oh! It makes me kind of sick to watch this because it helps me remember the pain and... Oh, man, that was bad. I was in a lot of pain right there. I was checking if I could still use my leg normally, and yes, I could still flex it. So I could at least establish that nothing was broken. But ah, the pain was just paralyzing. I just couldn't get up. And this was really miserable. Um, afterwards, I still tried to give them some tips on dagger fighting uh, and a few techniques. And, well, I was putting weight on the leg at, at one point and it just buckled. Let's see here. Step to the side and I just... The knee just gave out. It just hurt too much and the, the muscles didn't want to work properly. Okay, so exactly what happened? Well, I started out in a proper stance, but as I retreated, I started to mess up my footwork. You'll see right here, this is bad. I was allowing myself to get back up, backed up against the wall. And Wyatt did it right. He took this long stride you know, past my legs. Although I just noticed that he could have injured himself too. And looking at the foot, how it's dragging along the floor there. That could have resulted in an ankle injury. So, yeah, not quite right, but it just goes to show that we really need to practice footwork more. And there I was trying to get my my leg you know, further behind, but he basically trapped my foot right there. So my foot was planted on the ground. I was 
trying to get away and all my weight was on that on, on the right foot so it, it couldn't go anywhere and it couldn't rotate very well as you see it did but only after my knee was already twisted over his leg so my my knee was blocked here at the side by his leg and then he basically threw me over the leg you can see right there he pulled on my arm and that's where he threw me down so there was a lot of pressure on my knee lateral movement and that just completely messed it up so that's where my ligament was injured and it's really frustrating to see that because I could have avoided that you know the moment I noticed that he was going to step ahead now, at this point I should have instead of retreating with that leg I should have kept that there and moved my left leg over here and that would have allowed me to basically get to his flank you know if I had moved my left leg uh, to the to the back of his left leg then I would have you know been able to kind of go around him as he was doing that but I was too focused on what happened with the daggers so I didn't pay enough attention to to what was happening with the feet that's what got me <laughs> and well I paid dearly for it all right so that's what happened very unpleasant experience obviously uh, and also kind of funny because I never injured myself seriously before. This is actually the first time that I have to use crutches at all. Uh, I say crutches even though I only have one right now. Uh, I, I would like to use the other one, but I can't because my wrist is also messed up. <sighs> okay, so um, yeah, I've, I've never had anything before. I've never broken a bone or never torn a, a ligament or tendon or anything. I, I've had, you know, minor inflammations and stuff but never anything like this. And, well, I will try to learn from this. Uh, primarily, yeah, footwork. I have to practice that a lot more. It's, the issue is that footwork, at least to me, is pretty much the most boring thing you can practice. And it's always very tempting to just jump right into the freeform sparring because, well, that's the most fun. And it's really, not a great idea. You should really um, practice the footwork. Well, the thing is, in theory, I know the footwork. You know, I, I, you know, on a mental level, if you will, I know the, the different steps, how you're supposed to move, how you're supposed to respond to your opponent's movement and everything. But in the heat of the moment, in practice, I sometimes still revert to really sloppy, weird, you know, bad foot placement because I haven't practiced it enough to it, for it to become full muscle memory. If I get distracted, I don't pay enough attention to what's going on down there. That sounds very weird. Anyway, then I start running into problems. So, and that's exactly what happened here. So I need to practice that more. And also we shouldn't spar quite as much. I mean, you can learn a lot from sparring, but it's generally better to do more technique drills, you know, to practice techniques until you've, you know, mastered the basics and, uh, you know, become somewhat advanced at it. And, and then it, it's better to then go over to sparring. But yeah, it's, again, as said, all three of us enjoy sparring quite a bit because it's, it's a lot of fun. And um, we do get better with it, but there needs to be more technique practice as well. So, I can only recommend that you don't fall for that trap, you know, do the technique drills more often, even if they're boring or whatever. It's really important. The other thing is warm up and stretching. Now I do that before practice, but sometimes I'm a bit, I hurry a bit through it because again, it's one of those things, eh, boring, whatever, uninteresting. Those are of course very bad reasons. I'm basically a fool for <laughs> neglecting warm up and stretching because it's very very important i don't think it would have saved me this time because there was a lot of pressure on my knee from the side but maybe it would, wouldn't have been quite as bad if i had warmed up and stretched more than i did and finally wrestling is dangerous it's very easy to underestimate that but you know free form sparring with wrestling that's it's, it's, it's a huge risk because there are all kinds of ways in which you can twist your joints. The human body is quite fragile, unfortunately. 
you know, one wrong move, one wrong twist, wrong turn at the wrong time, and you've, you know, you've blown out your knee or your back or you've twisted a joint or you've broken something or whatever. All kinds of things can happen. In a fight, of course, that's exactly what your opponent wants. He wants to break your bones and wants to, you know, <laughs> tear your ligaments and tendons and, and, you know, damage your muscles and everything. But in this, you know, in this setting, friendly partner practice we don't want that of course and there's really nothing you can do there's no protective gear that really helps you yes you can get you know knee braces you know uh knee and elbow pads for wrestling but they don't really protect much from you know joints being twisted at least i haven't found anything that does and if there is something it probably limits your mobility so much that it's probably not that great to use anyway so there's really not much you can do. Even if you were in full plate armor, wrestling will still fuck up your joints, to put it bluntly. So that is a problem. In other words, you know, be very careful if you use wrestling in your sparring. I knew that, I knew the risk, but it's always the stupid human thing, you know? Even if on a um, cognitive level you realize that there are certain risks, and everything but then you just go ah oh, it's gonna be fine you know you, you just <sighs> we humans are pretty bad at prevention we're better at fixing things once they have happened this is not supposed to justify anything i did or did not do i was really mainly being just lazy and stupid that's what happened and, and inattentive although funnily enough if things have been reversed if this had happened to wyatt instead of me I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't say he was stupid. I would just say, oh, bad luck. I feel sorry for you. I should really apply the same standards to myself. But instead, I just look at it and just go, oh, you, you idiot. What were you doing? I've had it coming, you know, that kind of thing. But OK, whatever. So that's what happened. Now, you know, and now you also know why there won't be any outdoor videos in a while. But I, I will still make I will still be making uh, other videos. So no problem there. But yes, please be careful in your practice. I know it's, it's difficult to think that way because you just want to jump into it. You just want to do it, you know, but really you can mess yourself up. This could have gotten pretty bad. I could have gotten permanent damage from this. Fortunately, I won't, but uh, it could have happened. And I already need to sit back down, even though I don't want to. <laughs> I kind of want to get moving again, but no, I'll have to rest a lot more. So yes. Thanks for watching and stay safe, folks. <laughs> or try to at least. Ugh, such a